Hi everybody, I'm Katherine Nero from The Inquirer alongside my daughter, Annabelle. We are here for Social Saturdays for Taste of Cincinnati because we, during quarantine, have turned somehow into bakers. I always say we're like, somehow we're Laura Ingalls Wilder. I don't know this, how this happened. To be fair, I'm not really a breakfast person. I'm a morning person, but I'm not a breakfast person. But that changed during quarantine, didn't it? Definitely. So we had Zoom church, you know, church on Zoom every Sunday, and it was just an excuse for us to bake. And the two of us would get together and we made all kinds of stuff. We made casseroles, banana bread, and we had a waffle bar. But one of our favorite things that we made were these lemon blueberry muffins. You know it. Okay, so first of all, lemons and blueberries, they're friends. They love each other. They need to be together. So I initially got this recipe from Celebrating Sweets. It's a website, but I kind of had to modify a little bit because quarantine. I mean, you got to use what you got, right? So let's take a look at these delicious muffins. The first step is to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Then line your muffin tins and this should make about 12. All right, so here's what you need for these lemon blueberry muffins. First, you need a generous cup of blueberries, two-thirds cup sour cream, a stick of melted butter, and a fourth teaspoon vanilla extract. You also need a baking soda, baking powder, and salt. So it's about a quarter teaspoon of salt and baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. Two eggs, whatever size you got. It's quarantine, you gotta do what you can. Two-thirds cup of sugar, and then two cups of all-purpose unbleached if possible flour. And then the most important part, lemon. Lemon zest, lemon juice, all of it. The zest of a full lemon, the juice of a full lemon, maybe a little bit more because I like to, I like it a little bit tart, right? All right, in one bowl, you're gonna combine all of the dry ingredients. So the flour, that counts, it's good. I got to the same place. Sugar. Baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then you're gonna mix that up. Then it's time for all the wet ingredients. And then you get to zesting. Now, um, I am probably over zest because I like everything overly flavored. Couple of things, get a good zester. Other thing, don't get the pit. So that white stuff beneath the yellow, lovely zest, you don't want that stuff, that's bitter. So I don't measure this, probably should, don't want to. So I will zest a whole lemon for this, more for the icing coming up a little bit later, but I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so that same lemon you just zested, now you're gonna juice it. Now, you may get a few little seeds in there, but they're easy to pull out. I don't have a juicer. Again, quarantine. And then you get to whisk it. Wet ingredients first, and then we'll add the dry on top. In quarantine, I had no rules. And so when my kids would say, I would like a breakfast dessert, I would say, yes, that's fine. So this is what I would call kind of a breakfast dessert. It's because of the sour cream, it kind of tastes like cheesecake, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's really good. <laughs> All right, now it's time to add those blooms. Go for it. You don't want to over stir these because then the blueberries will get all smushy. Frozen ones will do, but fresh ones are so much better because they'll hold their shape and they won't get, you know, smushy. You know who else likes blueberries? Little Cooper here. You like them? There you go. So you wanna get your little ice cream scoop and go for it. Now it's time to put these guys in the oven. Uh, 375 for 15 minutes is when I'll check them. While those guys are cooking, we're gonna do our other quarantine activities, which is um, watching Annabelle do TikToks. That's a daily occurrence. Listening to Broadway show tunes and One Direction. It's basically all we've been doing besides eating and drinking this whole time. While the TikTok is done, uh, we do have one other thing to get done, and that is the lemon icing. These lemon muffins have all kinds of lemon zest, juice, and now lemon icing. So you start with three-fourths cup of powdered sugar and you're gonna sift it to make sure there's no chunks in it. I kind of made a mess, but it's okay. And then after you've made a mess with your powdered sugar, uh, you want a little bit of the zest of another lemon and also about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice to make the icing. Okay, looks like we're done. While they're warm, you wanna drizzle that lemon icing on it 
a little bit. It's really lemony, so whoops, you don't need a whole lot. Oh, there we go, delicious lemon blueberry muffins. They smell fantastic. Mm, breakfast dessert, it does not get any better than that. Cheers. Have a good weekend. For more than 160 years, Fifth Third Bank has been a champion of dreams. It's the dreams of those who work hard for a better tomorrow that drive us. As we've always done, we're here to support our customers, their families, their businesses, and our communities.